We need to look at economic failure. That is one thing. But when you have economic failure and every family in our country feeling the burden of the rowley governance and continuing to feel the impact of government's incompetence, that is exacerbated, that becomes worse. When it is also the fear across the land with respect to crime in the country. So yes, the hardship of crime, but also fear that is widespread. I asked my staff later today, today to check for me. Because the reports are coming, number of murders. You're getting different, different numbers. So far, we've been able to verify at least 205 murders for this year alone, good Lord. We must be the most murderous country in the world for this year alone. And you know, as I speak, heaven forbid, but it's happening, the number is growing. Even as you record it, you say, okay, it's now 200. Whilst you're saying 200, and what is the government doing? We tried in the parliament. We tried in the Senate, in the House. We said, let's have a debate on a matter of urgent public importance about this escalation in the number of murders. Didn't happen. The matter was not allowed. I, as I say, I, I, I take the guidance from the ruling of the speaker, but I, I, I am not happy about that. I'm disappointed. And so, before this week is done, I shall be filing a private motion, which is a different one. Private motion on the issue of crime in our country and calling for the removal of not one, not two, but the three ministers of national security in Trinidad and Tobago.